Welcome back, viewers. Today, we will be testing the multi time frame squeeze indicator. But before we do, if you have not watched my first video and the videos after that, you need to go do that right now. Here at the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. And as a team, we will all profit from it when we are done. You can find a link to the first video down in the description below. You can also find a link to our Discord server. So that way we can all discuss testing indicators and building our trading system. And lastly, you can find a link below to TradingView. If you sign up for a paid account, you will save a little bit of money using the link below. All right, as I said, today we will be testing the multi time frame squeeze indicator. But before we do, I wanted to put the indicator scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested 81 indicators and out of those 81 indicators 26 of them have been winners which means that they have met or exceeded the 60 percent win loss ratio threshold that we have set for them the best two so far were able to achieve a 100 percent win rate now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that but as we are working on building the best trading system possible you could take any one of those 26 indicators and get out there and start potentially profitably trading the markets with them now so go back and watch those videos make a list of those indicators and get out there and see what you can do with them but stick with this here as we work on maximizing your trading profits all right as i said today's indicator is the multi time frame squeeze indicator and it looks like a complete mess down here um, at the bottom and so there are a few things actually taking place here and so um, you have and i know it's uh, a little challenging to see the indicator so i apologize if you can't see it very clearly but basically you have these dots and these dots uh, represent supposedly when there is a ranging market taking place um, and then you have the color blocks here and they indicate whether or not uh, there is uh, long momentum or short momentum in the market and then I know it's even harder to tell but there are lines of these and each one of these lines are a different time frame okay so all that makes sense i hope it makes sense because uh like i said there's a lot going on and so basically if we go in here and we scroll down here to the bottom you can see that if i start clicking these these are individual time frames within the indicator itself see that all the way down one by one right and so um, how I am going to test this indicator is rather quite simple I'm going to pull out a lot of the uh, really craziness of it I am going to disregard the dots because I don't feel like they really provide a lot of value at the moment from what I can tell, I've played around with this a little bit, just so that way I could understand it and get familiar with it. But I don't think the dots really do a good job of picking a ranging market. And so more what we're interested in is the momentum that's taking place. And we're also not interested in all these other time frames. I mean, sometimes it's good to do a, um, you know, a multi time frame analysis before you make a trade, but more often than not, um, we we really don't heavily rely on all these different time frames to be in confluent with each other uh working together to really uh you know decide yes or no i mean if that's your strategy then cool that's your strategy that's just not typically how i do it and so um also within each of these blocks and so 
let me just do this so that way be a little bit more understanding so let's do that and then we're going to turn these off as well. Okay. So all we're left with now is this top line and the colors that are represented within. The one I am interested, well, the two I am interested in, I'm going to put it about 75, is the actual green and the actual red. There we go. Okay. See how I did that? And so now I'm going to go one step further in this. And I'm going to go down here. And I'm going to block out all these other colors. Just turns the, turning the transparency completely down on them. There we go. Okay, so this is what we're left with. Pretty simple, right? When we get a green, that's a signal to go long. When we get a red, that's a signal to go short. That's that's how I'm going to do it. That's how I feel like um, this indicator um, can read momentum. And uh, yeah, I, I think that's currently the best option for attempting to trade this indicator. Um, like I said, I've played around with the with the dots, and they just don't really seem like they do an efficient job of reading the ranging market. And we get into having to mix, you know, the ranging uh, dots um, as part of a filter with the momentum and so on. And it just eh, it didn't seem like it was working very well. And so. All right, so we got our first trade there, and it was a winning trade. And we picked up our next one here. Unfortunately, boy, that is close. Let's see. 63 was the open and the low. Of this one was 16 so yeah man just barely missed it there we go so I'm gonna go ahead and play this forward a little bit um, see what we can get out of it and uh, start marking out some of these signals get closer towards the end of the year we're about midway through the year now it's uh yeah it's doing pretty decent not too bad i mean it's a little early to tell for sure exactly uh what we're gonna get out of it but yeah i mean all in all it seems to be doing a, a pretty solid job so far and so yeah i'm gonna keep plugging along here with it and uh, yeah see what else we can get out of it like I said it's, uh, it's interesting little indicator but yeah all in all seems to be doing doing pretty darn decent so get closer to the end of the year then I'll calculate them up and see what we get all right we are almost to the end of the year now i take that back we are at the end of the year now so there we have it that's what we got out of the multi multi time frame squeeze indicator that's a little bit of a mouthful to say all right let's see here let's add these up and see what we got one two three four five six seven 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So we have 26 signals all together. 
and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Man, that was close. Boy, is just barely under the 60% marker. Um, yeah, it was an interesting indicator. Like I said, uh, kind of had to dissect it a little bit to um, get any kind of real sense of how it works and, you know, try it this way. If you guys want to throw it up on your charts and tweak it and play around with it some, see if you can get something out of it. I mean, it was super close. If we'd have gotten one more win versus a loss, then it would have met the 60%. And so, um, I mean, I feel like that's close enough if, if someone um, can tweak it a little bit and uh, maybe get one or two more wins out of it, then it might be worth throwing back up um, into the, the winning area. And so, uh, yeah, if you all want to throw it on your charts and play around with it a little bit and see what you can get out of it, all in all, it seemed like it was doing a, a fairly decent job. And so that's why I'm kind of surprised. I honestly thought we had edged out that 60% on it, but got to hold true to the word here. I'm not going to fudge it and, and start uh, throwing indicators that didn't meet the criteria up there yet. So um, yeah, um, that's where we stand on it. All in all, look like a pretty solid, decent indicator. So um, it's a shame. Yeah, it's a shame that it didn't quite make it. So, well, we will move on to the next indicator from here. If you have not already, like this video, comment below, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell notification so that way you are notified anytime I post a new video. As part of the team, it's important that you are seeing the new videos as they come out so you know what it is that we are discussing and what indicators we are testing, have tested, and have not tested. Also, like usual, there is a link below in the description to the Discord server. You can join us on Discord so that way we can further discuss the indicators and have discussions as we move forward building our trading system. And lastly, like usual, there is a link below to TradingView. If you like what you see whenever I use TradingView and you are interested in signing up for TradingView, if you use the link below and sign up for a paid account, you will save a little bit of money. So, all right, everybody, I will see you on the next video.